What's up, YouTube? Today, I attempted to make a brisket in an electric smoker. Let's see how it turned out. Yeah. Oh. What's up, YouTube? And welcome back to another episode at Ask Savage Kitchen. And on today's episode, as you can see from the beginning, we are going to be making a Texas-style brisket. Yeah. The boys are Texas NATO, and Texas is a home of barbecue. See, I knew I had to make a, a barbecue video, a brisket video. So, we're gonna be cooking on the electric smoker, and let's not waste any time, let's go. So other than that, let's. Start it. What's up you guys, here's the meat. I see it doesn't look all that great, but yo, we bought this in December for 20 bucks. It is a 16 pound brisket for $20, what? But we put it in the freezer and we put meat in the freezer and thaw it out, it ends up turning gray. But hey, it is still safe to eat. First, what I plan to do is cut off all the dirty brown bits like this. So first, I'm gonna cut off a little portion of this flat and just get rid of that. We do not wanna eat that when we put this on our smoker. And today I'm using an electric smoker just to see if I can get a good bark and good flavor on this thing. So right here is a point. As you can see, I'm pushing it and that is a lot of fat. That fat is not going to render down when we smoke this thing. So we're gonna cut a portion off and yo, I cut a big portion. Your boy was happy to cut this off that I got knife happy and I just cut a big portion off. I should have trimmed it a little bit, been easy, been gentle with it, you feel me? Cause look how much it's missing. But hey, you see how thick that fat is? That is not gonna render down. So we do not want that. So right here, all I did was I just trimmed up my meat and I just tried to clean it up as best as I can. We want a good inch, I think half an inch or an inch of fat is good cause it's gonna help it give a good bark. And we want a little bit of moisture for, not a little bit, we want some good moisture for our brisket and that comes from the fat. So here it is, I cleaned it up and this is how it looks. Now we gotta work on our seasonings. Here's the seasonings. So I usually eyeball my seasonings, but today I'm gonna do a recipe. I did three and a half tablespoons of black pepper, two and a half tablespoons of salt, because you obviously gotta start off with your basics. Now for our advanced seasonings and spices, we are going to use one tablespoon of some Slap Your Mama, which is a Creole seasoning, then one tablespoon of some onion powder, and one tablespoon of some garlic salt, my God. So yeah, add that, and then I added some of this. This is gonna help it give a good bark and just enhance the flavor. So I just eyeballed this, and I would say that's approximately one tablespoon. So after that, mix all that up and rub it on your meat, bro. Give your meat a good old rub. Give your meat a good old rub. That's it. Nice and hot, hot spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, man. I haven't used that meme in a minute, so I had to bring that back. Shout out to Ainsley. But hey, after you season it well, all of the moisture should make your meat look dark, like a dark red. And I refrigerate this for at least a whole day. You don't have to, but I did, so all that flavor can get embedded into the spices. Now, we gotta take this onto the grill. All right, so now we're outside. As you can see, I'm using a massive bill electric smoker because this is all I have. And I wanna see if I can get a good bark on here. I always cared about a good bark. I only cooked briskets three times in my life. And first time I did, I never had a good bark. And the second, I just didn't season it well. So this is the ultimate one. So today I decided to use pecan and apple woods because I'm gonna spray it with apple juice and the pecan wood chips give it a good flavor. So I put it in there at a temperature of 245 Fahrenheit. So shut your door and we just gonna let that smoke for four and a half hours, four hours and 30 minutes. Cause right now we care about forming a bark, having a good clean smoky flavor and just developing the flavors. So the goal right now is every hour I'm gonna spray it with some apple juice. So I got me a little thing of apple juice and I'm just gonna keep spraying it during those four hour periods. So it took a total of 11 hours to cook this brisket. That's the time that I finished that because I did everything by temperature. All right, so I'm back. I just got out the shower, so that's why I have a bonnet and my hands are a little ashy, but it's been an hour since we put it in our temperature. Our temperature is at 246. I was having it at 250, but I actually might drop it to 245. So we're right there. But 
what I'm about to do is I'm about to spray it. I have orange juice, which is good. If you don't have orange juice, you can do 50% uh, apple cider vinegar or 50, and 50% 50 water. So you can use that, but we want to keep it moist. So I'm going to spray it. I'm going to spray it every hour. I'm going to keep a close eye on it because we really want color. We want a good bark. We want good flavor and we want a good clean smoke on it. So that's what I'm going to do. So keep watching every hour and yeah. Oh, also, and make sure that when you check it, make sure you're checking to refill your, your pellets or your wood pieces, whatever you're using. If you're using a grill, make sure you recheck your pellets and yeah. So this is it after a total of two hours in there so far. And like I said, every hour, so twice, I've been spraying it every hour so keep doing that and it's starting to look like this it's having a good nice red color on it that you can see and you can start seeing a good bark forming like I said don't forget to refill your wood chips all right so this was in here for a total of four hours and 30 minutes as you can see I'm spraying it and it's starting to get a good nice brown dark not burnt color on top Okay, right here, I let it cook until it reached an internal temperature of 165, and I increased my temperature to 250. So it has been here for a total of three hours, which is good because it means we have our color, and now we just got to worry about our temperature. We want to reach 200 and get past the stall point, so now it's time to wrap it up. So I took some high quality butcher paper and I put my brisket down, face fat up, and I took two long strips of the paper and I put them together so when we fold it it's going to be easier to fold so what you want to do is so now we're going to fold the pieces together like this and we're just going to keep rolling it like a chipotle burrito but at the end we are going to fold our paper inward so when we roll the brisket on top of it it's easier to unwrap later on and it's just simple it's just it just keeps it intact better I put my probe in and now it's time for the grill so we put it back in our smoker and now we want to stick our probe in the middle part of the meat because that's the most accurate measure of it because it's between the flat and the thickest point so after we do that we have increased our temperature to 260 and we're going to cook it until it reaches an internal temperature of 200. hey we are done smoking it has been here for three hours and 45 minutes at 260 and it is time to come out the brisket should look like that so now we gotta bring it in but yo i'm so sorry we cannot eat it yet, duh, but look at that jiggle. Y'all y'all can tell it's gonna be tender when we bust into this thing. So I tempted, it, made sure it was 200, and it was, so we good. But you have to wait. You can't just eat meat straight away. You have to let it rest. So I got me a cooler so all of that heat could be surrounded and not escape. So get you a little cooler, and we're just gonna put it in there, and we're just gonna let it sit for a good hour. All right, so the hour is up. I open this box and I see the juices, bro. Look at the bottom of this paper. Y'all see how? I mean, woo! This brisket got me tripping. Uh, I had to censor myself, but yo, look at that! Oh, I know y'all saw the the little caption at the beginning, but yo, look at this thing. It is possible to get a bark on an electric smoker. I was struggling for years, but I finally done it. We had to temp it one more time. And yes, son, it was at 200. But yo, oh, look at them juices, man. Woo! And that little jiggle right there. Look at him. Yo, oh, okay. Yeah. Slipping and sliding. Calm down. But yo, move that paper out the side. Now we gotta cut it and divide it, segregate it like this. Shoo! Boy, if we weren't in a pandemic and people came over, they would have thought you got this from Spring Creek. But nah, you got it from the creek of your backyard. I sadly didn't get a smoke ring that I wanted, but yo, look at those juices busting out the side. But hey, when you're not cutting a section of the brisket, make sure you have it face down so all the juices get trapped. But we are about to cut the flat and make sure you cut against the grain because this is going to break the fibers and make it more tender and make sure it bends over like that that is how you know you did it correctly and now look at this pool look how easy i pulled this bro just whoa just like butter man and yo and it tasted fire so make sure y'all make this recipe it is that simple so get your little plate 
make you a brisket sandwich get you some burnt ends i also made my own barbecue sauce because yo oh my gosh and look at this this is the best part to me and look at the bark on that thing i was so surprised i got a good bark like this from a electric smoker i've been trying for years like i said but like i said make sure you cut against the grain and oh my gosh man i love brisket so much i'm a texas nato so every time i go to like a barbecue i always have to give me some brisket bro that is like the best barbecue you can ever have but yo make sure y'all comment down below tell me how y'all feel about this tell me if i did good tell me any improvements i need to do and make sure you stay tuned for more episodes simple now i'm about to take this fatty bit and i'm about to cut them into some burnt ends so you can do that and add some barbecue sauce on top and that's how i'm going to finish this video off with that but yeah this is probably the best brisket that i made out of all three of them because i did everything right besides that smoke ring i really failed on that i need to learn how to get a good smoke ring but let's focus on this right now so i added some of my homemade barbecue sauce and yeah that is it that is how you make brisket you guys thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for some more food videos and i'm out